Hi, I'm Lindsay Fisher, and I want to tell you about what's going on with my ninth grade world history co-taught kids. As they were approaching a unit on the Silk Road, I wanted them to get excited about the Silk Road and how this whole really important vehicle of trade and ch cultural change, but it's kind of a nebulous concept. So to get them excited, we introduced them by talking about everyone's favorite subject, food. Students would create a pin where they on the Google My Maps where they would drop a pin for each person's food, favorite food, based on where they thought it was from. And so I gave them an example. I love Korean barbecue, even though I'm not Korean. And so this, uh, so this is because I went to Korea in 2013, and Korean food is delicious. And so students began to explore with their fellow students some of their favorite foods and their favorite ideas. So, uh, so students learned a lot from each other. For example, uh, Maggie, who is from Germany, thought donor kebab was from Germany when in fact it had originated in Turkey. And so this was an exciting thing for her to learn because this really led us into this concept of where do things come from? How do things spread so quickly from one place to another? How do we know where something's from anyway? And so this led into our next task. What's really exciting about technology to me is what that students are able to explore and create different things based on what they're interested in. They're able to guide their own learning and they're really able to find their own time, place, path, and pace to understanding what they want to learn about. It makes learning so much more vivid and vibrant. And so students were able to explore the different places on the Silk Road through a document that I created based on a lot of different uh, FCPS resources. I wanted students to be able to access this in any modality that was easy for them, particularly since I have a lot of ELLs. And so students went through and looked at places they thought were interesting. So they could listen, they could read, they could watch a video. And so we gave them a lot of different options as far as places they could explore, as far as ideas that they could explore, and as far as different other uh, resources regarding the Silk Road. As students worked, they would tell me what they wanted to learn more about, where it was, and what was so exciting about it. And I asked them to include the link so they could easily access it as they created a project later on. Students would then uh, go through and kind of type through these ideas, and uh, later they would use this to create their own question and topic for their own research project. Um, as far as how this was assessed, for this day I asked students to come up with a preliminary research question, something they really wanted to know about the Silk Road based on their learning today. Then later, students created a museum project, which they shared with one another, and they assessed each other on the quality of their project, the things that they learned about it, and how well it showed cultural diffusion. I think that students were really successful in understanding the Silk Road, but also understanding how to self-direct their learning and how to find something really exciting and applicable for them and create a meaningful product. Thank you very much.